Welcome back to Good Things Utah. Glad you are watching on this snowy Tuesday. I like to curl up with a book. Saray, what do you, yes, what do you think? Yes, I think so with maybe a cup of cocoa. And Melissa Dalton yes. Martinez here for this <laughs> sponsored interview and she has the books that we all need today. Did you look outside and say, I just want to get in my jammies? And I really did. It was hard to go, okay, dress clothes first, <laughs> jammies later. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wore green, and you wore green for a reason. Tell our viewers why. I did. So today is actually the launch day for the book of God of Neverland, which is the first one I want to talk about because I love, love, love this book. I, we were chatting earlier. I even did my nails in honor of it <laughs> with fairies on them because God of Neverland takes us back well to the world of Neverland, but it does it in such a way that's never been done before. We all know who Michael Darling is. Well, Michael Darling grew up, but... Unfortunately, he, or fortunately really, he joined a group called the Knights of the Round, which was to help save the world from supernatural mythological threats, had a bad time and he quit, right? Secret society, secret agency. But then Peter Pan goes missing. And now we don't know what's happening because Peter Pan is actually the Celtic god Mapnos. So we've got mythology in this, we've got Peter Pan in this, and without the god of youth, who is Mapinos, imagination starts going crazy all over the world. Kids are having nightmares, grown-ups are starting to have the same nightmares, and they go back to Michael, who is the only one who can help find and save Peter Pan, save Neverland from the brink of collapse, and really save humanity, because what are we without our imaginations? Why do I see this as a movie? <laughs> I, I do too! Already. I know. Who and is this book for? This is, so this is a general fantasy book, which means it's for adults, but it's perfectly clean. I mean, the author, Gamma Ray Martinez, he, he's a very clean writer. So there's not like swearing or anything that you would worry about a kid or a, a teenager reading. Um, but it's definitely fast-paced adventure. I mean, right in chapter one, you're pulled right in. I mean, it's just one of those books that if you like to be whisked away into a fantasy world, you're going to love it. And it's also historical because this takes place right after the Great War of World War I in London. So it's just so fun. And then this also has another lead in it that's female. And it's not Wendy. You might be thinking, it's oh, it's Wendy. It's not Wendy, really? No. Tinkerbell? Vanessa, the another secret agent who is trying to help save us from the brink of collapse. All right, so your passion about it, I yes. think, has yes. everyone else it is so say, good. I need that one. All right, so book good. number two. Oh, Beautiful Ashes. Oh, see, this is this month where I'm like, I love them so much. <laughs> Beautiful Ashes is, is really a book that will grip your heart and soul. It will leave you in tears, but leave you uplifted, too. So this is a book by Shelley Edwards Jorgensen. It's a, her true story. When she was 15 years old, her father murdered her mother by setting their house on fire. This is a true story. Mm. Now, Shelley, again, 15 years old, and we start to unravel this story, and we learn that they were in a home of domestic violence. And actually, April is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And so this is a book that you're going to feel moved to make a difference because one of the things about Shelley is she, she's working through some hard things, but then she comes out and she comes above it and she rises above it. And this continues throughout her life. She goes through hard things. Now, in case somebody is thinking, okay, well, I don't know, murder, mystery type thing. That's right. But also Shelley went through different assaults in her life mm. and she again rose above it, but it's not one of those things where you're thinking, okay, well, she, she went through these hard things and snap, it was done. No, she had to work really hard at this. And she gives us hope that no matter what we go through, we can rise above it too from any stretch. A story of resilience Absolutely. is what that one's all about. Our yes. last one is Even the Dog Knows. Yeah, Even the Dog Knows is a literary novel that if you like to get into just real world things, right? This is a good one for you. But it's also fun because the dog is a character in it, too. So this one starts off with Meg, who is in her 50s, 60s, approximately, and she's leaving her husband at the beginning of this novel. And he is pretty much clueless. He doesn't understand why she's leaving. And she, he doesn't know what to do once she leaves. 
Well, three years go by, and then she writes a note to him, a letter, asking if he would please bring their old dog one more time to come see her so she could say goodbye, because he's a 15-year-old dog. Mm -hmm. And we know that, that that's the time that you really need to think about saying goodbye to your pet. And so he's trying to figure out what to do. They have an adult son in this. And so it's really one that brings you through different emotions and, and drama, but it's like real world. These are all totally different. The, yeah. Very time. different. Completely different stories. Yes. But there's one for somebody out there. Absolutely. And, you know, with Easter right around the corner, too, these all make good gifts. And, you know, for me, if you are also thinking about your kids, that's where I'm like, God of Neverland, your, mm -hmm. your adults, nice. your teenagers, it, absolutely. Like the whole family the would whole enjoy family. and then pass it down yeah, once you're yeah. done. And then you've got, you know, your, your true story memoir for Beautiful Ashes, your literary novel. You know, these are all going to be great books. Mm -hmm. I, this is one of those months where I'm like, I'm going to the store, I'm getting this whole pile, <laughs> and here it is for well, all of you. Well, do not go on <laughs> vacation without one. Right. Right. And, Melissa, how do we find these books and how do we follow you. Yeah, so you can go to thebookbreak.com and we're also giving away one of these books for free. So if you jump on, enter to win, and also you can get these books at your favorite bookstore. They're available also online in audio and ebooks. So go jump mm. to your favorite bookstore and get what you want and Get one for your friends. <laughs> I'm going to get your yeah. nails after I, I do know. that, too. Yes. <laughs> Thank so you fun. so much for <laughs> this you. sponsored segment.